This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Netflix. Not a good day for Anthony Weiner. I got to tell you the news out today that that picture was in fact of Anthony Weiner and I am stunned. <laughs> who didn't know that was Anthony Weiner and who didn't know that he sent it? No one. Last Friday night I tweeted a photograph of myself that I intended to send as a direct message as part of a joke to a woman in Seattle. Once I realized I had posted it to Twitter, I panicked. I took it down and said that I had been hacked. Yeah, I'll bet you panicked. <laughs> oh no! Weiner went on to explain why he told the lie in the first place and kept it going for nine days. I then continued with that story to stick to that story, which was a hugely regrettable mistake. This woman was unwittingly dragged into this and bears absolutely no responsibility. I am so sorry to have disrupted her life in this way. To be clear, the picture was of me, and I sent it. Yeah, we got that. I got to be honest, we knew that 10 days ago. <laughs> you see, there was no other explanation. I thought in the beginning that it would have made sense for Anthony Weiner to say, hey, look, man, the picture was of me, and if he was going to continue with the lie that he was hacked, and I thought that was a possibility. But obviously the picture was of him. You say, hey, somebody got into my computer. I got a lot of pictures on my computer that are meant to be personal. I think we all have some of these pictures. I'm incredibly embarrassed that it got out. But he should stop pretending that saying it was the picture of you and, say, and his answer of, there are pictures. <laughs> That's literally, it's the worst answer anyone's ever given. There are pictures. Yeah, there are pictures of you and your underwear. The problem also wasn't that Anthony Weiner sent a picture of himself in his underwear. I think people are missing this. The problem is not that he was in his underwear. The problem is that he wasn't wearing pants over his underwear. And I think it's an important distinction for us to make. All right, you know, so. Can we, can we be fair yeah, a little let's, bit? Let's be fair. I mean, maybe it's not strictly you because, you know, you do the Happy Hour Friday show. <laughs> Did we really think that that was him or that he wasn't? Because the, the the words like doctor may not be all that stuff oh, is no, thrown no. out there, and I feel like a lot of people ate it up uh, no, no, in I, support I was, in support of him. No, I was positive it was him. I think I was pretty clear on Friday that I, I thought it was him, and he should just admit that that the picture was in his computer, and that I'm sorry it got out, and it was personal, it was embarrassing. I did buy the hacked part. I did not. I, I believed it. you when he answered the, the question. There are pictures out there. That meant that <laughs> there are pictures. That meant it was him. Uh, but I did believe that maybe somebody had gotten into his computer yeah, and sent it out. The, uh, the uh, Andrew Breitbart factor really put it over the top. Yeah. When it made all, you think that. Yeah, right, because Andrew Breitbart then, after Weiner gave his press conference today, Breitbart gets up there and says everything we've reported in this scandal is true. And uh, you don't want to go, hey, way to go, Andrew Breitbart. You're now one for seven. So uh, Weiner eventually, and now this will get to the extent of his lying, we'll get to whether he should stay in Congress, whether he can survive this. He says he's not resigning. Uh, he continued with his press conference, and he then uh, got very emotional. I'm deeply sorry for the pain this has caused my wife, Huma, and our family, and my constituents, my friends, supporters, and staff. In addition, over the past few years, I have engaged in several inappropriate conversations conducted over Twitter, Facebook, email, and occasionally on the phone with women I have met online. I have exchanged messages and photos of an explicit nature with about six women over the last three years. For the most part, these, these communications took place before my marriage, though some have sadly took place after. To be clear, I have never met any of these women or had physical relationships at any time. I haven't told the truth. And I've done things I deeply regret. I brought pain to people I care about the most and the people who believed in me. And for that, I'm deeply sorry. I apologize to my wife and our families as well as to our friends and supporters. I am deeply ashamed of my terrible judgment and actions. So 
It was interesting when Andrew Breitbart then followed him up on stage and took credit. Andrew Breitbart said he has a, another revealing photo of Anthony Weiner, Weiner. So the this is not over, uh, and Weiner says he's not resigning. The issue can be then, as as we see other pictures, as we'll probably hear from other women. Uh, there already was another woman today, a 26-year-old woman, who says she's had a relationship online with him. Everything appears that it's, at this point, consensual. Uh, these are grown women. Uh, this seems to be a lesser scandal than some others, but it's still a significant scandal. Unlike the Republicans, Anthony Weiner does not have the hypocrisy angle to deal with. So the question is, can he survive? Uh, much of that rests with, I think, how the House Democrats deal with him. Uh, Nancy Pelosi today said she was deeply disappointed uh, in him and called for an uh, a ethics investigation. Uh, that seems to me a, a fairly normal course of action. If that's a sign that they're going to push him aside, then I don't think he can survive. Uh, if that's just the normal course of events, then he probably can. But his days, at least temporarily, as a sort of a champion of the left and an attack dog, uh, of the right and uh, being sort of appropriately critical of the Obama administration when necessary and when called for, those days are gone, at least for now. Uh, I hope he survives the scandal. Uh, his behavior shows a grave lack of judgment. Uh, I, I certainly understand uh, that lack of judgment. Uh, I'm sympathetic to it, but it does show it. There's no denying that. And uh, I don't know whether he can survive it. Get a load of Netflix. They deliver the movie to your house, no late charges, Free shipping. You can watch thousands of movies or TV shows straight on your PC or on your television through a gaming console. Netflix.com slash TYT. Free trial membership. You get Netflix all over.